Hello everyone, this is Anna again, and today I have three questions for you. So, are you a student? Do you have lots of ideas you want to design and create and share? And do you want some free software for it? Well, if the answer is yes to all of those questions, uh, this is the right video for you, because today I'm going to show you the Autodesk resources for education, and how you can get free software and uh, learning material as well, and forums, all that. So. Um, this video is going to be a bit focused more on F1 in schools, but uh, the resources are available to all students, so let's start. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to autodesk.com slash education and you'll arrive at this web page. Uh, here at the top you can see the download free software, learn, teach and connect and prepare an Excel section. So we're going to go into the first one and you can just see Fusion right, right away. But then you also have other featured products, such as AutoCAD or 3ds Max. Uh, if you go a bit further down, if these are... Uh, okay, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll do that later. Okay, so further down, you, you have some uh, software packages. Uh, so you can see here the products included. Now let's go and, and try and get Fusion. Okay, so now you want to go to the section Get Fusion 360 for Education. And you can either create an account or sign in. And as I've showed you before how to create an account, let's just do the login. So now you just need to verify access here. And you should be able to start your download. And then you just need to sign in to Fusion. So if you click there, it should start automatically. Otherwise, just click in this link. Uh, you want to click in Save As. Uh, this is in Portuguese, sorry. But I I'm just going to cancel it because I already have Fusion. But yeah, it's pretty much it. So let's go back here. So if you click in another software, let's say Revit, then it looks a bit different. So you can, you can choose your version, say 2017, your operating system, also your language. Uh, and then it shows up a serial number, product key, and you should receive an, e an email with this uh, license information. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and install it. Uh, so, go back again. Okay, so let's have a look now at the Learn, Teach and Connect section. And this is just going to take you straight away to the Autodesk Design Academy. I've already made an entire video about the Design Academy and how to guide you through the different sections of it. So, you can just check that out. This is an amazing resource for you to start interacting with the Autodesk community and show your designs. So let's just go to the Prepare an Excel section now. This section is more for people who want to get their Autodesk skills formally recognized, so you can take some certifications. And you also have uh, some examples of, of projects. But if you go back and if you scroll further down now, uh, in the section Get Help, this is a very useful tool, which is Ask Peers Question. And this is going to take you to um, a forum website. So in here, you can find all sorts of topics related to Autodesk. Uh, no, let's take this out of the way. Uh, so yeah, let's click in Fusion 360. And now you have all these sub-topics, so computer-aided ma machining or uh, post your tips and tutorials. Uh, so let's go to Design, Validate and Document. And then you can just see what people are asking, uh, what are their problems, maybe you have encountered the same problem in Fusion as well. This can range from very general questions to technical um, obstacles. So it's just a great way for you to um, find what you can do when you get stuck on something. It is an amazing resource. And if we go to Overview, Here you just have a good introduction to Fusion, uh, its components of design, engineer, CAM, uh, Fusion 360 community, how you can collaborate, the Fusion for students, which is what I've just showed you before. And if you click in features, this is a more specific overview of Fusion. So in the design part, you have freeform modeling, sculpting, 
solid modeling, uh, parametric, and then also mesh modeling. It's just to give you a bit more uh, insight into the program and what you can do with Fusion. In the engineering section, you can have simulations, testing, uh, then you have uh, fabricate your design, collaborate. So it's just a lot of information uh, about Fusion. You can uh, read more on that. And then you can go to the learning section. And here you just have some nice tutorials to, to get you started with the, the software. So, yeah, you have the list of all tutorials in there. Uh, sketch, assemble, simulate. So, yeah, if you've never worked with Fusion, it's definitely a good idea to just have a look at this and then just start having fun with it. It's just to guide you a bit. Okay, let's go to students now. And this is the web page we started uh, with. So in this section, you just have some activities you can participate in as a student. So you have live webinars hosted by uh, Autodesk, uh, the on-demand tutorials, which is uh, the page I just showed you. And you also have the design for industry challenges. So if you click there, uh, this is the design for home and office challenge. In here, you can just find the details of the challenge, all the information and how to get started. Uh, you have your skills tested. It's, it's a great way to show your creativity and your CAD skills as well. Then you have the challenge requirements, key dates, and also the prices, of course. Um, yeah, all of that. Okay, so if you click uh, in Autodesk, you can see uh, other challenges. So now the the open opportunity is the design for automotive, which is pretty exciting. Uh, the previous ones were the home and office, which I just showed you, and the design for space challenge, which was also uh, incredible. But uh, yeah, let's go for the design for automotive. And uh, the challenge is for you to design a futuristic Formula One car. Uh, it's currently open, so make sure you take a look at that. Uh, you have 58 days left. Um, yeah, you just have there all the information you need. Uh, again, you can see the prices and details. There's two categories for this one. Uh, and then you can see the gallery. So people are already posting their entries. And you can just see what everyone has been designing and their ideas. So, yeah, yeah, it's a great source of inspiration as well. Okay, so let's go now to um, autodesk.com slash F1 in schools. And uh, this website is where you're going to find all the resources specific to the project. So right at the top, you just have a little presentation of what F1 in schools is. Uh, and then here you have all the resources. So if you click in free software, you arrive at the page uh, I showed you. Uh, if you click in Student Experts Program, then you're going to arrive at the um, Design Academy. And yeah, you can know all about uh, the Design Academy in my other video, as I told you. Then you have the a little design challenge, just to design your uh, Formula One helmet. And this was the pressure challenge two or three years ago. Yeah, you just click and view the current design for uh, Autodesk challenges because uh, that one, I guess, is closed. Um, yeah, then uh, you have uh, sites for F1 in schools, which uh, is going to lead you to the main website, and then you can sh see your country's website. Then you can get the Autodesk Fusion 360 badge, which is uh, a really good um, good exercise for you to do if you're starting with Fusion. Basically, uh, this PDF just guides you through the steps of creating your own trophy. And uh, it's, it's pretty detailed. It's a really good uh, explanation and a step-by-step guide. And yeah, in the end, after you create your own trophy, it doesn't need to be the same as this one. You can personalize it. Um, you just gain uh, your, your badge, and it's a great way to, to show your skills. So, um, yeah, make sure you check this out. It's a really good uh, exercise for you to start. 
Then to redeem your badge, you just want to go to crazy.com and just really follow the instructions that are in the PDF. Uh, okay, so now uh, if we go to get started, click there. Yeah, and here you're going to find um, more step-by-step um, -step tutorials. And th these are really useful because they are specific to F1 in schools. So they show you how to create your own uh, F1 in schools miniature car using Fusion 360. And if you click in the beginner tutorial, you can just uh, save as and it's going to start a download. And then you just uh, see the tutorials. Um, you also have... Um, some instructions how to prepare your uh, car to manufacture and uh, some Autodesk flow design and then rendering. So this is a really great website for all the teams out there um, hoping to start with Fusion in uh, F1 in schools. Make sure you take advantage of all the tutorials and of all the help. But we also have uh, other specific pages for other challenges. So you have, uh, for example, Autodesk Shape the Future, your F1 schools, um, Formula Student Projects, the VEX Robotics Competition. If, so yeah, let's just click there. And uh, it's uh, a bit of the same structure as the F1 in schools page. Uh, and you just have the different sections. Uh, you have an online CAD challenge. So if you are in VEX, make sure you, you check out these web pages all. So yeah, I think that's, uh, that's all. So now it's up to you to explore the website. Okay, everyone. So now that you know where the resources are and how to access them, um, I do hope that you take advantage of them. And uh, please comment below if you have any questions or any doubts. And um, yeah, thank you for watching as always. Thank you for your attention. And I'll see you next time.